In our last episode, we explored the place that was highest on my list of must-sees for our big summer road trip. This time around, we are on a mission to make it back to our floating home in Mexico. But on the way, we've got to see some amazing sights and spend a little time with family. Heading south out of the Bears Ears National Monument takes you down one of the most spectacular roads we've ever seen and drops you from the high plateaus down into the Valley of the Gods. And just past the Valley of the Gods is another one of the best spots to camp on the face of the earth at the Great Goose Neck State Park in Southern Utah. Where not only do you get some amazing views, but you can set up camp right on the side of a thousand foot cliff. Best campsite ever. The Gooseneck State Park. And from the edge, it's an amazing view of the meandering San Juan River below, carving its way through the landscape. Today we're going into the Valley of the Gods. This place has sort of been a bucket list kind of place for me for a long time. But I always wanted to do it on a motorcycle. Since I don't have a motorcycle right now, we're doing it in this thing. The Valley of the Gods is seen by way of a 17 mile dirt loop road that takes you by some amazing scenery. with its sandstone monolithic structures, mesas, buttes, and interesting rock formations, it's definitely a sight to see. Valley of the Gods. We came, we saw, we drove. We're done. Beautiful. Go see it. From the Valley of the Gods, we were on a mission to get to my brother's house in Phoenix, Arizona. But then we saw this place. Okay, we made it to Petrified National Forest. But it is so windy today. It's crazy. It's like 40 mile an hour winds. So this is going to be a drive-by tour today. 
see how it goes. The petrified national forest covers roughly 230 square miles of land. And crossing through its boundaries is the historic U.S. Route 66. The park is also home to nearly 600 Native American archaeological sites, some dating back as far as 8,000 years ago. But what this national park is most known for? Well, it's not its rich history, its spectacular scenery, or its stunning views. Of course, it's its large abundance of colorful petrified wood. Thanks to an uplift in the Colorado Plateau roughly 60 million years ago and the forces of erosion, these 225 million year old petrified logs are now visible. After racing our way through the wind-blown Petrified Forest National Park, we made it to my brother's house in Phoenix, Arizona. And we were just in time for Halloween. Hi, Bryn. Can you smile? This is my new great-niece. That means I'm old. <laughs> As you might guess, one of the hardest things about our footloose and fancy-free lifestyle is being away from family and friends. Are you recording me so you can steal my puppy? <laughs> How's it going, Oma? Whoa, it's kind of tough. So, having a little time to catch up with family and carve some pumpkins before heading out on the high seas, well, it's pretty great. Stay after hours. <laughs> That's right. Not only is this family pretty great at carving pumpkins, we've got some skills on the field too. More cowbell, more cowbell. Let's go yep, that's my nephew Noah. And he's got the skills to pay the bills. But sadly, even with some strong work from Noah, unfortunately we didn't quite get the end result we hoped for. Nice job. <laughs> it's game day today. Game day. It's game day almost every day. Oh, coffee. Coffee's almost over. Game day. <laughs> we had to get up at 6:45 today for game day. But Cody back there. What I got get? up at 6:15 because I'm a winner. That's right. Winners get up early. Well, what are you gonna do today? I'm gonna break some ankles and shatter dreams. That's right, breaking ankles, shattering dreams, because this family's winners. Well, anyone in this car. The losers are actually coming in the car behind us. <laughs> With my nephew Cody on the field, slinging some bombs, well, we've got some pretty good odds. Trip today. Got my brother, got me, 
Got a bag of seeds. The peppered kind, because those are the best. Got a quarter tank of gas, five hours to go, and our shade's on, because it's sunny out. We're gonna go see our dad. He's about five hours away from Phoenix, Arizona. It's kind of a long drive. But, you gotta see your family. Everybody look no, everybody doesn't love to see their family. But we love to see our family. It's true, we love to see our family. And actually the last time my brother and I took a road trip was in 1992, possibly 93. 93. 1993, it was almost 25 years ago. That was a long time. I've got gray hair now. I don't. He dyes his hair. Welcome to Nevada. We made it to Nevada! Woohoo! Shortly after that, we picked up this guy. Look who I found! It's my dad! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he looks just like me. It's weird. What kind of spicy? We had just enough time for a quick overnight visit with dear old dad and then it was time to go. Okay, that's it. Family time is over. Goodbye! Bye. These guys are getting kicked out. Good to see you, son. Glad you came. Love you too. Love you. I love you too. You too, son. I love you too. Whoa! Watch the road! Watch the road! Watch the road! No hands! No hands! After spending a bit of time catching up with family, we were finally heading back to our little floating home in Mexico to continue sailing the world. Well, that's the end of season one. We're on to season two now. So, click on the link down in the description below and that'll take you to the beginning of season two. We're back on our little floating home and we're gonna be off sailing the world, seeing what's out there. So, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See ya! I'm on Facebook. This is Jeff's camera. Check this out. <laughs>